I really do not want to make this video. One verse and we will get into my testimony. Matthew chapter 9 verse 6 But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, then he said to the paralytic, Get up, take your mat, and go home. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you and I just want to say thank you. And I ask for the blood of Jesus to cover this message and this video. And I ask for you to prepare every listener's heart. Give me wisdom and hide me behind your cross so that they will see you and not see me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I was spiritually sensitive since I was born. When I was 0 to 3 years old, my mom would always say that I was talking to something or crying to someone, which I now know that it was God. I wasn't born in a believer's family, so it actually took me a really, really hard time to encounter the one true God. So when I was young, my family would do something to me to seal my spirituality. And I did not know about this until I was 21 years old. I'm turning 23 this year. I was born and raised in kind of a mentally and emotionally abusive family. So growing up, I did not cultivate a good relationship with my family. And later on, I got into a relationship with another abusive, toxic, manipulator ex-boyfriend that would say something like, I love you so much, I want to lock you so no one could have you. I hate Jesus, why do you sound like a Christian? And no, you're not allowed to talk to her because she goes to church and you are not allowed to be friends with him. I take all ownership of my bad decision making in the past and my mistakes. But hey, this is just a piece of the puzzle that God uses. I was always surrounded by a spirit of murder, slander, depression, anxiety, and suicidal. I was a really angry person within me, and I was so rebellious. What I'm about to say now, God will be my witness. Growing up, I did not have a day, not a single day of good sleep for 21 full years until the day I got baptized. And wow! I didn't know what good sleep is and what every normal person felt like and I just sobbed in tears of joy. Before I get baptized, I would have nightmares four to five days in a week. I would dream something like people's head being chopped off right in front of me and I was holding a bag of human's blood and I would often experience sleep paralysis which I later on know that it was demon hooking on your body after I get introduced to New Age and Witchcraft. Please understand that I'm summarizing 21 years of suffering in two sentences. Going back to when I was 19 years old, one day, one friend preached the gospel to me and he was the one and only that preached the gospel to me. Before that, I never heard of Jesus and I didn't know what sin is. So he taught me how to pray and introduced to me who Jesus is and I went on with my life that I mentioned just now for a year and a half. One time I had my heart absolutely broken and I was kneeling on my bed crying for five hours. Suddenly I heard a voice so gentle yet full of authority and the voice said, cry out to Jesus now. Now I was already drained, crazy, broken and tired so I just did what the voice said. I cried out, I said, Jesus, help me. Immediately, I felt a person hugging me from behind. That was my very first encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. And for the next two weeks, I was trying to find out what that thing was because up until this point, I did not have any Bible knowledge. So I started to go to church but I still had a lot of demonic attack and all those kind of other things that was pulling me away from God. When I was 21, that was when I was introduced to witchcraft and new age. My third eye opened by accident, which is the demonic eye, because I was doing all sorts of psychedelic drugs and all kinds of substance abuse. I was a chemistry major student, so I always used this excuse like I know my substance, I know my limit to be constantly being substance abuse as an escape to all this demonic, painful feeling, attack. I just want an escape so badly, so desperately. I was introduced to third eye and all of the other dimensions, the universe counterfeit, 
and I learn quick because God designed me to be a quick learner. Here's the thing. The enemy likes to cause distraction on God's gift. We see highly creative people become depressed or an overthinker. We see highly adoptive people have dissociative identity disorder, which I had it for a while too. This is my hospital letter. I know some of you can't read because it was in Chinese. You see spiritual gift turn into witchcraft and compassionate people have trust issues. Everything that is not from God is counterfeit. And apart from Him, we can do nothing. But God will use what the enemy meant for evil and turn it for good. During these six months, I had a great force stopping me from going to church and stopping me from talking to the one and only Christian friend that I have had. Moving on, because I was so spiritually sensitive, my mind, soul, and body couldn't handle this massive spiritual warfare and rituals. I was constantly talking to false spirits and evil spirits, and I had a relationship with this thing that was beyond human understanding. My mental state got worse and worse, and my false power become greater and greater. I could see into people's past, future, etc, etc. Let me explain a little bit here. I was a kind and compassionate person. I had values. But up until this point, what the enemies had done to me was making me a self-centered, a prideful, and selfish person instead of Jesus-centered, humble, and giving all glory to God. Trust me, if you think gaining false power is easy, it's because they are. When the enemy wants to take you away from God, they will do anything to help you. I had one Christian friend, and before she left the country, she gave me a Bible. She told me that she heard from God that God wanted her to give me this Bible. And I was like, wow, cool, it was God. Deep down inside, I was so happy because I didn't know that all of this counterfeit spirituality were so wrong. I held on that Bible and it was like a bright light shine into my life. So happened that day I was modeling for a salon. I got stuck in that hair appointment for eight hours because my hair was damaged. And I read the Bible for eight hours straight. Our bodies are like this container. When light shines in, darkness must leave. And the darkness that was dwelling in my body, they didn't want to leave. So the next day, I got possessed. Five of my friends were witnesses right there, and they didn't know what to do, so they called a pastor. So I was fighting with three muscular guys at that point, and they were nowhere near my strength because it was demonic. So the pastor came and prayed for me, and I got delivered. That weekend, I got baptized. It was just the beginning. That was when I realized everything that I knew was counterfeit, and Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. It didn't stop here. I jumped right in into the Word of God. I spent six hours every day for the first 90 days. I told God that if I can spend so much time in the past, in all of the things that is not you, I want to spend more time with you now. Three days after my water baptism, I got baptized in the Holy Spirit in a conference. My mind, soul, and body are secured by the Holy Spirit, and I just... It was the best thing ever. The enemy still attacked me, and I had nightmares sometimes, but God blessed me with the gift of speaking in tongues, even in the middle of my dream, and I could break the curse and wake up. Throughout the deliverance, my body had scratches, and red thoughts. It took me two weeks since my baptism day to be completely delivered. And it took me four months to be free from constant attack. I didn't really want to make this video because it will cost me almost everything. And then God spoke to me, the same voice. He said, I am everything that you need. He said to me, my daughter, you can walk now. When are you going to pick up your mat and go home? Go and show these people how I've healed you. And here I am.
I have received this joy, peace, love, grace, kindness, goodness, salvation. Let me tell you, my friend, this is not a religion. This is a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And it's very simple. Just receive Jesus into your heart and into your life. I never experienced anything like this before in the past. And if you're a Christian and you're watching this, preach the good news. Preach the good news to all creation. Faith comes by hearing. And I hope this message will increase your faith. And if today you're struggling with something, especially depression, disorders, or anxiety attack, I want to pray for you right now. Just put your hands on your heart. Lord Jesus, we come before you and we just want to say thank you so much for this message. I pray that your blood will cover this message and seal this message to every listener's heart and bring the increase. Right now, in Jesus' name, we know that your name is above every name. Your name is above every disorders. Your name is above every depression. Your name is above every demonic attack. And right now, in Jesus' name, we bind and break all generational curses, all demonic oppressions, all anxiety, all depression. We submit to you, our imagination, God. We break all this thing in the name of Jesus. And we just want to say thank you that you change us and you let us increase in your wisdom every single day. We can't wait to see you. In Jesus' name, amen.